nine years old in a dusty kitchen, I am sprawled out on a metal table and altar. Woman in a house dress, face mask, and no gloves dips a scalpel in a bowl of muddy water. I asked my tante why we don't get a party for my circumcision like my brother did. She said, we don't get a party. The celebration is our bodies. When circumcised, we stop, what, we remove what stops us from pure. Once we cut out what may let an intruder in before marriage. The woman opens legs, pushes vaginal lips, carves and cuts away my clitoris. Auntie says, it feel better now? A sharp pain stabs me between my legs. The doctor pushes brown medicated gauze inside me. Don't you feel pure? They use the last of my upper body strength to move through the edge of the seat so my blood doesn't pool in the dark of the taxi cab on the ride home. Don't you feel free? I cry. I'm unable to move for days because I lose all the feeling in my legs. I don't know when the blood stops and the ointment starts. I don't know when pain pauses and healing begins, especially since they look at like one another, especially as they seep into each other. Last year, CNN calls auntie celebration female genital mutilation. The gauze between my legs becomes a banner for the pity party in my body. A country I was never supposed to step foot in gives me words for what was never supposed to happen to me. So I feel obligation, invite America in. White reporters and saviors pour in by the dozens, breaking everything in sight. I ask, why are you ruined everything? They say, America. America. I ask, who are all of you? They say, America. America. They take photos and write thought pieces on this function. Say the music is too exotic. Say it reeks of blood. Say who needs to be removed from her own search party because every girl at these events shows up dead. I'm confused. I'm still alive. I've just been pushed to the back corner and no one else sees me, so they call me ghost. I ask why they say America. I got the lights. Stand on a coffee table. Shout. You thought finishing one of my sentences gave you the right to crowd the dance floor and block the entrance? Tearing this down will not keep me alive. I know this is far from a happy occasion. It was a surprise I never wanted. But the women before me brought me here, not because they died with me, but because they lived with me on after this. So I will still dance here. I will still raise a glass to myself. I will stay even after the music stops. I can easily uninvite my guests the way you easily call my people terrorists, a threat to your white purity that you had to cut out or victim, woman, depending on whether or not you pry our legs open. So see your way out. And if I do, I will let you in. Do not write me off as obituary. I'm still here. Celebrate.